Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. And straight out of the world of Fortnite, I'd give you the Durr Burger. Let's get going. All right, the Durr Burger. So this request actually comes from Justin over at Babyback Maniac's son, Ethan. Ethan's a hardcore fan of the game Fortnite, and that's where this burger has its roots in the game Fortnite. So let's get going. So what I'm going to make, it's kind of like the burger joint in the restaurant's mascot, and it's got these big bulby eyes and a big tongue sticking out. We're gonna start out by making the eyes. It's more of a crafts class here. So what I have here is a cocktail onion and a straw. What I'm going to do is just kind of drill a hole here, kind of core this. Now, what I'm going to do is take a black olive and do the same. Now I'll take that olive core and I have it the, what was the outside of the olive, the shiny part on my finger there, on my fingertip. I'm just going to press it in. And there we go, there's an eyeball. And I'm just going to use a toothpick to kind of mount it. Hello, I see you. Let me get the other one knocked out and we'll get rolling with the rest of this recipe. Okay, we have two eyes now. Let's get to cooking this burger. So this burger itself is very simple. It's a basic cheeseburger with the exception that it has a long tongue and two eyes. Other than that, it's perfectly normal. First thing I'm going to do is cook that tongue, what I'm going to use as a tongue. And basically what I have here, it's a nice thin strip of top round that I've cut to look like a tongue. So let's get this on the flat top. Little non-stick. We'll get this tongue on the flat top. It's very thin. It's going to be a very quick cook here. And I want this to be red like a tongue. So what I'm going to brush it with is, this is K-pop sauce. This is their triple X sauce. Not being sponsored by K-pop, I just really like this. It's gonna add a little bit of funk, a little heat, and it's going to make that red color that I want. But if you guys wanna make this burger, you could use whatever sauce you want. Let's get this off. So before I get the patty on, I wanna to start toasting the buns. I'm gonna show you what I did here. If you look at the image, it's kind of a cartoony image of this Dur burger. There's very few sesame seeds and you cannot find them like that in any store. So what I did was I picked up some just regular old plain buns. Last night I took a toothpick and just put a few drops of honey on the top of the bun, sprinkled the sesame seeds on and it has that look that I want. So let's get these toasted up. That's all I'm looking for, a nice light toast. Now for the patty, just simple 80-20 ground chuck. Let's get this guy on. bit more salt. Try to give this a flip. Put a little cheddar cheese on here. Go ahead and get a dome on it just to help it get a little bit of a melt. I don't want it completely melted but I want it to definitely be bending over the sides of the patty. There we go. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> First thing we are going to do is drop that Beautiful patty down there with the cheese. Very large slice of tomato. That tongue. <laughs> We're going to crown this with a bun. Now we want to put the eyes in and we kind of want to have them cockeyed a little bit. So kind of turn it off to the side, give it that cartoony kind of look. Okay, kind of twist it off to the side, make it look like less of a predator, more of a victim. <laughs> right now the final touch is going to be a green olive. If you want to go legit, you got to keep it legit with a flat toothpick, okay? Get that in here. And there we are, the Durr Burger. 
it actually looks pretty good. Now the whole idea of putting that sauce on the tongue too is basically to act as a condiment. That sauce, like I said, it's kind of a Korean-ish sauce. It's got some gojujang, has some funk going on, and also some heat, so that'll be good. Let's give this a try. And I'm gonna take a bite out of it with its eyes on. I want it to see who's eating them. Let's try this. Yeah. That sauce is definitely coming through. It doesn't need any condiments, but you know, obviously if you wanted to add mustard, whatever, mayo. That was fun. That was a fun cook. Like I said, I don't know if it was a cook or a craft project, but it was fun. Fun figuring out how to make those eyes and everything. Thank you, Ethan. I appreciate the request, my friend. Guys, check out Justin's channel, Baby Back Maniac. I mean, if you haven't already subscribed. See you in the next video. Cheers.